Welcome back to Houston Life. There are so many fun holiday events to attend this month. So let's start this weekend's Art Attack with a little theater. All right, my dear. <laughs> you can hear Grammy-winning classical guitarist Jason Bio in concert tonight at the Hobby Center. Now, the show starts at 7.30 p.m. He has 11 studio albums, including his most recent solo album, Play, which won the 2015 Grammy Award for Best Classical Instrumental Solo. He frequently performs as a concert soloist throughout the U.S. and abroad, including tonight at the Hobby Center. Tickets start at $42, and for more information, just visit DocCamera.com. DocCamera is fantastic. We love them. Now playing right now at Theater Under the Stars Hobby Center, you can catch Stephen Sondheim's Into the Woods. Some of your favorite fairy tale characters come together in one funny and touching musical production that takes all kinds of unexpected twists and turns. And you know, last night a bunch of us went to the show. We had such a good time. And about this production, a lot of the costumes used in the show were used in the original Broadway production with Bernadette Peters back oh, in wow. 1987. The show runs until December 18th. Tickets start at 38 bucks, and all the info is online at tuts.com. And travel to the land of sweets where the Sugar Plum Fairy is reunited with her prince in the magical annual performance of the Nutcracker by the Houston Ballet. Tonight's performance starts at 7.30 p.m. There are performances through December 27th. The Nutcracker is brighter and more splendid in this year's new production, which of course in still includes the toy soldiers, the snowflakes, and a Christmas tree that reaches the sky. Tickets are starting at $19, and for more information, visit HoustonBallet.org. Tomorrow, the Houston Center for Photography is hosting some holiday family fun. Explore the current exhibition, The Surface of Things, with a scavenger hunt, create your own self-portrait, fabric collage, and explore an alternative process by making cyanotypes. There will be a special holiday story time starting at 12.45 p.m. for the younger patrons. The event is from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., and it is free. So for all the info, you can visit hcponline.org. And tonight, you can join the opening reception of the painter Angel Otero's decade-long survey exhibition titled Angel Otero, Everything and Nothing. This is a 10-year survey that chronicles the evolution of the artist's practice to date. The exhibition features four distinct bodies of work created between 2006 and 2016, including his iconic skin and transfer paintings, early paintings created using silicone and collage, as well as his sculptures created using porcelain and steel. Enjoy the exhibit tonight at the Contemporary Arts Museum from 6.30 to 9 p.m. It is free to attend, and for more information, visit CAMH.org. May the force be with you. The Star Wars craze is in full swing, including at the Children's Museum. Darth Vader, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and director Orson Krennic himself will make a special appearance at the Children's Museum of Houston tomorrow. It is all part of the museum's Star Wars Brink of Beyond. You can go to another galaxy tomorrow at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Now dress as your favorite Star Wars character for the intergalactic saga and of course, don't forget your camera. During the event, the kiddos will get a chance to explore the technology, science, and environment behind Star Wars. Tickets are $12, and for more information, visit cmhouston.org. Saturday at the Houston Arboretum and Nature Center is the Family Owl Prowl. You can bring the kids to meet some real live owls oh, cool. and learn a bit about these mysterious nocturnal creatures. Grab a cup of hot chocolate and go for a hike in the moonlight to search for owls out there in nature. Such a cool idea. Tickets start at 30 bucks. The info is online at HoustonArboretum.org. Oh, that is so awesome. Now, need a recap of all these art attack events? Just visit HoustonLife.tv later this afternoon and see the segment again. And we will have much more Houston Life right after the break. Stay there.